एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू अल एंड टूडे वी आर सॉल्विंग प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम लीड कोड एंड उज नेम इज स्लिप एंड द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इज वेरी सिंपल वी हैव गिवेन अ पॉजिटिव इन टीचर मिलीज एंड वी हैव टू राइट एंड एसिंग प्रोनस फंक्शन दैट स्लिप फॉर मिलीज मिली सेकेंड्स एंड इट कैन रिजोल्व एनी वैल्यू सो फॉर दिस वील यूज प्रोमिस एंड इफ यू डोंट नो वाट प्रोमिस इज एंड वाट एसिंग प्रोनस कॉल इज यू कैन रीड अबाउट दिस इयर सो प्रोमिस इज एन ऑब्जेक्ट रिप्रेजेंटिंग द इवेंचुअल कॉम्पिटिशन or failure of asynchronous operation and its resulting value and you can see beginner using promises also so a promise is just an object which has three state pending resolved and rejected and it shows the eventual completion or failure of asynchronous operation so asynchronous operation is in synchronous operation a thread is our our thread is blocked by and what thread is thread is just a part of process yeah uh, in synchronous operation our thread is blocked by some operation if it is if it takes 10 seconds then we are waiting for 10 seconds to complete it and then we will move to the next line but in asynchronous operation we will move uh, we will run the next code and when the first code is completed we will use this output and then do whatever we want in our code so yeah so in javascript a promise is just an object representing the eventual completion or failure of an asynchronous operation and its resulting value so it is a way to handle asynchronous operation in more elegant and manageable way okay and we talked about callback hell and promise solve this with this chaining promise chaining and promise also help us to prevent the inversion of control and that we don't want to pass out the entire function to some another function so uh, let's write some code and understand the promise in a better way just i am creating a promise so let's take const my promise and using promise constructor to create our promise two arguments resolve and rejects inside the function so let's do this resolve and reject and use array sent arrow function syntax and the promise can be rejected or resolved so let's set timeout and inside this let's resolve our promise with resolving promise tool console dot log before promise and let's call it console dot log lead code then my promise dot then after the when promise is fulfilled we will use something called and let's say result and console dot log result and if promise is failed then we will use catch block and let's say error we are getting this error because we did a use a semicolon and it should not be here and let's say console dot log error and because we are resolving our promise here we will not get error we are not showing any error error here so first before promise will be printed to the console and if this was a synchronous operation it will wait for this line to be executed and then it will print lead code it was not delaying because 4000 should be here let's say 2000 and now run this before promise is printed first lead code is printed second and then resolving my promise and let's 4000 and again running 
before promise lead code and it is waiting for promise to be resolved and when it resolve it come inside then block and inside then block this is our callback function and this is the argument here which is the result of this result promise and console.log result and let's reject it with and let's just pass a string now after 4 second it will print i am error so yeah this worked so hope you understand promise also and yeah that's all for this and now solve this problem otherwise video will be too long so let's understand the example first so we have given input and millis and millis is an integer and we have to resolve this promise after 100 milliseconds and we have to also return millis here so for this let's write our function and inside our asynchronous function we are returning a new promise and passing a callback and which will return two parameters resolve and reject we discussed here promise s3 object promise s3 state pending resolved and rejected and this is an arrow function and we uh, we have uh, we have told to resolve this promise after milliseconds millis milliseconds so we will do that for this we will use set timeout and to set timeout we will pass another callback function and resolve this function resolve our promise after uh, with millis value and after millis millisecond so it's a little confusing i am uh, telling millis 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 too many times so here we are resolving our promise with millis value and after millis milliseconds and millis is passed as parameter here so yeah that should be fine and that's our simple code and now let's run this yeah it's worked fine and let's submit it also yeah it got accepted and let's discuss what the time and space complexity of this code is so for every call we are just returning a promise and it is returned after milli milliseconds so the time complexity of this is big of 1 and space complexity is also big of 1 here so if you like this video please consider li liking this video and also subscribe to this channel if you have not subscribed this channel yet and that's all for this see you in next video